Oh, Badgie. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh. Oof. Oh, my days, man. Badgie. Oh, I think we could have found our build, boys. I tell you lads, I'm getting to like the ponytail. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with another player review, Roberto Baggio, Mr. Ponytail himself. Few people donated the other day on the Monday live stream. We spun, we got him, we got Rijkaard and Ambersini as well. Ambersini's on the way, we've already done Rijkaard. But we're going to be taking a look at the best build, the best position, the best skills to give Baggio. And is he a beast or a bust? Let's find out. Alright boys, so as you guys know, we did spin for Baggio and we got the trio. We got Rijkaard, we got Baggio and we got Ambrosini. Now, I feel like Baggio is definitely kind of like a luxury pick. Obviously, if you're going to be buying these players, you're looking for something a little bit different with your experience of eFootball, you know? Uh, you don't mind spending coins or you, you've saved up your free coins and you want to spin for the ponytail or any of these class players. You're probably looking to take your game into that next level, you know, Division 2, Division 1. Um, and taking it a step on from the kind of casual type of play, right? Now, obviously with Baggio, you are going to be getting very much uh, two types of players, depending on how you train them up. We actually have four builds, but they're two kind of main builds with a couple of alterations. I think Baggio's biggest strengths after five or six hours of playing with him up front and different positions, AMF, SS, trying out everything, is his movement, his uh, player ID and his player style while also being an excellent dribbler. He's definitely one of the most deceptively strong and quick dribblers that I have played with. Now, as ever, you are going to have to spend about 100,000 XP on him to train him up. And as ever, as I continue to say, these cards, they're in a different sphere. You know what I mean? If you're playing free to play and you're trying to get GP cards to, you know, be alternatives to these, the boosters have gone into a different sphere now. You know, it's just as simple as that. These guys have so many stats in the 90s that they just really don't have any weakness. And I feel that if you do pick Baggio as kind of a creative player, you're getting one of the best creative players in the game that can also finish. Now, this build that we have here is going to have everything in the 90s apart from finishing. We're going to leave his finishing at the default, which is going to be around 81. We're not going to put much into that. Now, with a couple of variations to this, as your creative SS or AMF, if you're playing in with a, you know, if you've got somebody like Romario or a lethal guy up front, you can pause the video here for the for the build. Um, if you've got a deadly finisher up front and, and Baggio isn't your main assassin up front, then you can kind of tweak it a little bit, right? So this is the build you're going to look at here. Um, and then obviously this one with a couple of alterations is going to be taking a little bit from passing and having a little bit more into shooting to kind of max out that you can literally just everything, you can score from everywhere with it, with him on the pitch. Like, it doesn't really matter. You've got your skills to back up his long-range shooting and his long-range curling. Um, and also on top of that then as well, you've got this build, which is going to be beastly. Now, I do feel like that the build coming at the end is definitely the meta and probably the best build that I've used of Baggio. I definitely think that it's going to be a monstrous build if you're struggling. I would recommend the build coming in about like 60 seconds. But even though we've only got 81 finishing on this and he's more of a creator, you can still pop in goals with Badgio, man. It's not, you know, the game is animation driven. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't listen to people that are overcomplicating the game. You can score with 80 rated uh, striking stats, like or finishing that are 80 or 85. It doesn't have to be 90. The reason to go 90 is to, you know, why not? To give it the extra oomph with these cards. Now, if you're looking for Badgio to be kind of like your main double pivot striker or your main guy up front as part of a front two or just behind your main assassin this is obviously another fantastic build so this is the build that we just used um that we just trained up and the clips were from an 81 rated uh, finishing but this build that we have here the build that you're going to see in a second i think is the best because you don't need passing and you don't need much speed or stamina with a player that you are going to predominantly be hoping is in the box as a kind of an assassin in the box. That is my opinion. After playing this game for a long time, and you don't need to complicate it, basically this game is about breaking the lines, catching your opponent on the counter-attack, or else out-possessing them, um, and getting the ball into dangerous areas. And once you get the ball into a dangerous area and you're able to finish, you can score with anybody, and obviously you hire those chances or you raise those chances when you have a BC player. So that is the build that we have there with 100 balance and 90 and everything else. It's... <laughs> It's ridiculous, man. You know, this Baggio is a ridiculous card. So um, I definitely feel that he's he, he he's up there. I don't know if he's as good as Romario, but for me, for Romario, it's just kind of like, 
it's kind of like Margot Robbie. There's no comparison really to Romario in the game, lads. It's just he's in a different level completely, in my opinion. And I know some people sleep on him and some people prefer Rafael Liao. Some people will prefer Baggio. Baggio's deceptively strong, lads. Look how he buries Pirlo off the ball there. And that's 102 rated Pirlo as well. Now, he will be able to score free kicks from default. But that is obviously going to come down to skill level. And you're also going to have an issue with penalties. Sorry, Italy fans. I, I apologize. We had to get this clip in, man. We did miss a penalty um, when the game was there to be won. But also, just to finish this off, boys. First time shot, long range shooting, true pass and way to pass and flip flap. They are the skills I would give for pretty much any build of Baggio. But I would swap out first time shot if you are not used to, uh, if you're not going to use him as your main striker. And I would put low lofted in there as well. Flip Flap will give you ball roll because he has double touch and soul control. So, yeah, he's a fantastic player. I definitely have enjoyed using him so far. We will be back Thursday with another stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.